Hi there, uh, in this video we will be designing this uh, reinforced concrete structure which is a commercial bank office building. This uh, structure has three levels. The ground floor will be directly supported on the ground. The first floor and the terrace roof are supported on floor beams. In addition, we have one staircase roof slab. This structure will be designed, modeled and designed using the Stack Pro software. All column sizes will be of 250 by 400 mm. Floor beams are 250 by 450 mm. The staircase roof beam here and the plinth beam at the ground level will be 250 mm by 350 mm size. The roof slab and the terrace roof and the staircase roof will be 120 mm thick solid slab while the first floor slab will be 150 mm thick solid slab. This will be the section of the building. If you notice this uh, footing top is 1 meter below the ground level. The ground floor and the first floor are 4 meter high while the staircase roof's floor is 3 meter high. In addition, we have two more levels to uh, model the beams supporting the staircase roof slab at the mid landing. This will be the ground floor plan of the building. If you notice, you have uh, two grids in the X direction and seven grids in the Z direction. So we will start uh, modeling this uh, building in the Stack Pro software. Let us open the SAP, uh, Stack Pro software, new project space let us name it as 01 structure 01 we will be uh, working with the newton and meter units next and then finish the first step in the modeling of our building will be the creation of the uh, grid structure uh, our grids if you notice is not a regular grid we have different uh, dimensions along each grid directions so uh, we will uh, do a cre creation of new grid system which will not be linear, which will be regular. Let us name it as grid 01 and we will be creating the grid in the XZ plane. Uh, now we have to give the dimensions for the spacing between the grids. If you notice in the X direction we have 4.9 and 5.25. 4.9, In the Z direction, we have 4 4.4, 2.95, 2.8, 2.5, 2.47, 2.58, 2.5, 2.47, 2.58. 2.58 press ok now we uh, will not be working with the default grid and switch off and switch on the grid 1 which we have created let us look it on the from the top of y direction so this will be the grid which we will be using to create our structure we will start creating the uh, beams using the add beams command Okay, let us look at this from the 3D view. This is our uh, 3D view of the uh, beams just created. But we have all these beams at the ground level, which is one meter above the footing top level. So what we will do is we will select all the nodes, do a translational repeat in the Y direction. Number of steps will be one, uh, one meter spacing, and we will think all the steps. Now we, uh, this will be our ground floor level and this will be our footing level. So there will be no ground beams at the footing level or we have to transfer all these ground beams to the uh, ground level. So what we will do is select all the beams in that direction and select all the beams parallel to the z direction 
do a translation of the y direction one meter one step that's okay so these ground beams have been transferred to the ground level we will not need this uh, beams at the footing level so just press delete these beams will be deleted also shift of the grid system now the structure is ready up to the pin beam level now we have to just uh, uh, trans uh, do a translation of a uh, repeat of this for creating the first floor and the terrace floor we'll have a look at from 3d view we select all the beams uh, translation and repeat y direction two steps four meter came up to lean steps okay the structure is now ready up to the terrace floor if you look uh, at our uh, 3d view we have one staircase roof here which will be at the uh, uh, between three and four and between with a and b so third uh, third from the top third day from the top so if you are uh, if you the, the staircase roof will be here so if you are not sure you can go to uh, you can select only those beams in the top level and view only those beams which we have selected so our staircase they will be this way third from the top uh, between uh, first day in the x direction do a translation of repeat in the y direction this will be only three meter high we have to link the steps okay so the structure is almost created we will save the uh, model uh, but if you look at this uh, plan we have a uh, drawing we have two more beams at the mid landing levels which we have to model here so if you are still not sure about the location go there just select only this portion you selected objects only go to 3d view now we have to create two beams the uh, at the mid level of the ground floor and the first floor so you start add beams just press here you want to add node here yes at the add a midpoint okay here first add a midpoint okay now again here yes add a midpoint okay okay uh, this has uh, we have created the uh, model in the entire building structure we can look at from the 3d view uh, this is showing in a wireframe model because we have not yet as assigned the sizes we don't have to assign the uh, slabs because we will uh, be using the floor load command which will directly transfer the load of the uh, slab to the supporting beams so in the next video, we will be uh, looking at how to assign the loads.